Hello, we are discussing about gate 2015 ECE paper. Look at the circuit diagram. All the logic gates shown in the figure have a propagation delay of 20 nanoseconds. Let AC are 0 and B is equal to 1 until time T is equal to 0. That is before T is equal to 0, A value C value is 0, B value is 1. And at T is equal to 0, all the inputs flip. That is they will get complemented. AC will become 1, B will get 0 and remain in the state. Remain in that state. For T greater than 0, output Z will be 1 for a duration of. For how much duration output will be 1. That is what we are going to calculate. So, first we will go for the under study state. That is for T less than 0. T less than 0, already the uh, system is in the stable state. So, stable state is nothing but it has been in this state with AC is equal to 0 okay, and B is equal to 1 for a long time such that uh, all propagation delays have been completed. So, you are going to attain a stable state value that is depending on the input values. So, this is 0 and you will get 0 over here and this is also 0. Okay. So, under stable state, output of AND gate is 0 and 0, 0 are going to be inputs for XR gate. So, that XR gate output is 0 whenever both the inputs are going to be same. If both the inputs of 2 input XR gate is dissimilar, you will get the output 1. Okay. So, this is 0, 0 as the inputs output will be 0. This is XR gate okay. and it is AND gate. Now, Output will be 0 and now we are going to change this one at t is equal to 0. What happens is a is equal to 1, b is equal to 0, c is equal to 1, it is becoming. So now for the same circuit, this is what the circuit, okay. And for this one, a has become 1 and b has become 0, c has become 1. Now, what happens to Z and how much time Z will be at logic 1 that we are going to calculate and each gate inverter and gate as well as XR gate all these three have propagation delay of 20 nanoseconds. Okay. So, the meaning of propagation delay means if you are going with ideal gate for example, you are going with AND gate of this one if you give 1 1 at the time output you can say it is 1 into 1 is 1. So, if it is ideal at that time, as soon as you apply the inputs, output will change. If it is having propagation delay, okay, let us assume it has propagation delay of 20 nanoseconds. As soon as you apply the inputs, it takes 20 nanoseconds of time to get the output 1. So, if at t is equal to 0, you apply 1 1, then your output will become after t is equal to 20 nanoseconds, z will become 1. If the output is z. Okay, propagation delay is the time required for the gate to reach the stable state for the applied input combination. So, each gate has a delay of 20 nanoseconds so that we are going with different notations and output of this inverter is taken as x and output of AND gate is y and this is output of XR gate as z. Now, A, B, C values are fixed that is 1, 0, 1. Okay. Now, I am going for the time and next output of inverter which is nothing but output of inverter which is X. X is equal to you can write it as B bar and Y is equal to. So, Y is output of AND gate, output of AND gate and get so y can be written as a b bar or a into x and output of xr gate output of xr gate that is z z can be written as y exclusive c y exclusive c so these are the three things we are going to consider and how much time the z is going to be at logic 1 we are going to consider at t is equal to 0 a b c values are 1 0 1 
and every gate takes minimum of 20 nanoseconds so that okay x y z is going to be under steady state z is 0 that is this value I am writing under steady state and y is equal to steady state value y is this one and x is this so x is also at 0 and y is also at 0 under steady state till that point so that I am writing this one okay and after 20 nanoseconds minimum of 20 nanoseconds is required to change the output of gate so that we must wait for 20 nanoseconds even though you are applying input changes at t is equal to 0 so which inputs get changed is all these three things are going to be outputs of each gate is going to be gets changed according to their input combination present at that time at t is equal to 0 whatever the inputs present so you are going to be looking at this x y z values y is b bar so a b c value is going to be given as 1 0 1 so b value is 0 so x will change to 1 because inverter takes 20 nanoseconds of time since you are giving b is equal to 0 you will get 1 after 20 nanoseconds and for this gate initially the values are going to be okay a and x a is 1 and x value is 0 so at t is equal to 0 a value is 1 and x value is 0 and 1 into 0 is 0 so that 0 will be at the output after 20 nanoseconds so it is maintaining the same state this 0 is you are getting after 20 nanoseconds for the combination presented t is equal to 0 at t is equal to 0 a is 1 and x value is 0 so based on this combination you will get output as 0 after 20 nanoseconds now z this output you will get based on the values presented t is equal to 0 t is equal to 0 the y value is it is 0 and c value is 1 c value is 1 and y value is 0 so 1 and 0 you are going to apply c value is 1 and y value is 0 and dissimilar inputs for the xr gate so output will be 1 now the output is 1 after 20 nanoseconds ok so if you observe at t is equal to 20 nanoseconds the value of x is 1 and value of y is 0 value of z is 1 now x value is changing at 20 nanoseconds previously it was at 0 now it was at 1 so the change at x x is nothing but input of AND gate the change at input of AND gate is going to be reflected at the output after 20 nanoseconds only even though the x value changes to 0 to 1 that 1 doesn't affect y ok until 20 nanoseconds of propagation delay is going to be done so this after 20 nanoseconds is nothing but now the time will become 40 nanoseconds at 40 nanoseconds inverter output will be at the same value because there is no change takes place at the inverter input and AND gate input is taken change and get input taken change at x is equal to 20 nanoseconds that is x value becoming 1 and a value is at logic 1 itself ok now a is equal to 1 and x is equal to 1 so a into x which is nothing but 1 into 1 that will become 1 now ok so output will be 1 and get output will be 1 and this and get output will be even though it is 1 but output of XR gate doesn't affect instantaneously it also takes 20 nanoseconds of time so the output of XR gate is going to be depends the values presented t is equal to 20 nanoseconds at 20 nanoseconds y value is 0 and c value is at 1 so c value is at 1 and y value is 0 1 0 dissimilar values dissimilar values for the XR gate that gives the output as 1 so output of XR gate is calculated based on the values present at 20 nanoseconds before that time so since you are dealing with 40 nanoseconds you must look at the input values at 20 nanoseconds at 20 nanoseconds input for y is 0 and c is 1 so that 1 0 is going to be giving the output 1 next this AND gate output is changes from 0 to 1 at 40 nanoseconds but this 40 nano at 40 nanoseconds output is changing to 0 to 1 but doesn't have it effect 
doesn't it affect at 40 itself again it requires another 20 nanoseconds of delay to get this effect at the output side so the effect has to be propagated towards output means it requires another 20 nanoseconds so output of xor gate will change at 60 nanoseconds because this is inverter doesn't change and output of AND gate is now it doesn't change now XOR gate output is going to be calculated based on the values present at 40 nanoseconds at 40 nanoseconds Z is Y exclusive C Y exclusive C at 40 nanoseconds at 40 nanoseconds Y is 1 and C value is going to be fixed at 1 so 1 exclusive 1 that is similar values so it is 0 so output y if you are going to write this is going to be a time scale and it is 0 20 nanoseconds 40 nanoseconds and 60 nanoseconds this is 80 nanoseconds you can write the output in this way z will be at 0 till 20 nanoseconds and it will be 1 at till 60 nanoseconds then it will go to 0 for infinite time until you change abc again so this is what the duration from 60 20 to 60 which is nothing but 40 nanoseconds so output z will be at logic 1 for the duration of 40 nanoseconds so the answer is 40 nanoseconds thank you